Okay, hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm 31 years old. I'm from Miami, Florida. I've been living here since 2015, so about seven years. Um, I love Reggio Emilia. I came here by curiosity. Okay, so I chose to live in Reggio Emilia and come here because I had an opportunity to come and live with an Italian family. So I decided to come and discover a new part. I wanted to have an authentic Italian experience. I didn't want to go to Rome or Milan because I come from a big city. So I decided to come to a, a small town and I fell in love. I like the town, I like to bike, I like the food culture. I think it's wonderful. The company I work for I think is great. It's young, it's innovative. I work in an e-commerce um, where they sell made in Italy items and we ship all over the world. I think it's a beautiful company. Everyone is young, it's dynamic. Um, it's one of the first companies to do what it does here. My favorite place, oh, that's such a good question. I think I would have to, it's a tie between Duomo because I like how big it is and when you walk it's very beautiful and I've seen different postcards from the 1800s and it looks the same. So it's cool to see. But then I also like Acqua Chiare because I think it's so peaceful. And I think it's beautiful to just walk around and see flowers and see trees. I really enjoy nature. The word I would use to describe Reggio Emilia is authentic. An authentic Italian town with authentic Italian people and authentic Italian experience. Oh, my favorite food from Reggio, I think it would be endless. It would probably be Erbazzone is the first one, but I would say the second thing, very close to the first, is Capelletti in Brodo. Because I love soup and I love pasta, so it's my favorite. I can have it in the summer, in the winter. I know it's not common, but I love soup in the, in, in the summer as well. <laughs> Learning about the food culture when I first came, I wanted to get more into the culture and see how do they produce these foods. So I went to the library and I saw some books and I saw that they have this concept of the resdora. Um, and so I looked up courses and I found one, Save the Caplet, where they have these women come and show young people how to maintain the food traditions. And so I did one with Erbazzone, I also did another one with Capelletti, and one with Tortelli. And I think it was, you know, it was awesome to have a lady who spoke in dialect to me, which I didn't understand, but I tried my best. <laughs> and, you know, I finished and I, I created a product and now I can continue to do it in my house. And I think it's a beautiful experience to have these traditions move forward and continue generation after generation. I would suggest people to come and live and work and be in Reggio Media because it's a real town and I feel that it has so many possibilities. There's so many endless opportunities here. It's growing. It's a good living standard for a mid-sized town. I love the fact that I can bike everywhere. I think it's healthy. Um, the culture in itself, I feel, is just beautiful to be around. The people are really welcoming. And why not? You know, there's economic aspirations, there's food and there's people and I think and it's connected to a high speed station so in case I want to travel somewhere it's perfect <laughs>